In animals, this part of the brain evolved around the time of the dinosaurs, before mammals existed. It's hardwired to beat starvation. For three days, Jean-Luc has been trapped underground. He hasn't had a morsel to eat. He doesn't know it, but his brain is changing how his body functions and how he behaves. There are a couple of different brain centers that regulate feeding behavior as well as hunger. They're in different parts of the central part of the brain called the hypothalamus. And in that part of the brain, you're really driven to seek out food, to eat almost anything, to try to stop yourself from starving to death. To drive Jean-Luc's search for food, his brain first releases a hormone, orexin. Orexin comes in tiny doses, but it has a profound effect. This hormone makes us more alert, improves our muscle efficiency, making us better hunters. It even sharpens our problem-solving skills. For days, Jean-Luc scours the caves. He finds water, but nothing to eat. He starts to fear the worst. Even if, when I had a little hope, I thought obsessively what would happen over the last few days or the last hours before dying. It was a big question. How I would die? Was it going to be cold or hunger? Or... It was a question that I always had in my head. Sure that he's doomed, he records a message. But as hope fades, Jean-Luc's brain switches strategy to help him survive with no food. With his fuel stores depleted, his body becomes even more efficient. It makes him slow down. Now, his muscles use less energy. So do all his internal organs. New cells grow more slowly. Non-essentials, fingernails, toenails, hair, hardly grow at all. Jean-Luc is entering a survival state that evolved to keep starving animals alive until they could get to food. This enforced efficiency, which kicks in when we're at our limit, may have bigger implications. Some say it could help us all live longer.